Hi Eric here from Laser Skin TV and I done the first test with the Faro Orbis. Um, you know there was a previous video with the Orbis, the new Faro hybrid stamp scanner and now we got our system and last week I have to sh had a chance to get up with a customer to make a presentation and now if you are interested I give you a look on the first data what I capture by myself with the new Faro Orbis scanner. Stay tuned. For all people that are new, I have a check here on our website, um, this is the Faro Orbis scanner. I think we have a video here also, I think we will link it for them. They are very new and don't hear before. It is the new Slam scanner from Faro. They bring them out for months ago uh, or two months ago. And uh, it is a first hybrid scanner which capture a Slam scanner technology, but you also have the option to do static 10 scans I, and you can colorize them and I do both of them. And I, I done this workflow capturing with the app, transferred with Wi-Fi to my local Connect software, and then I make slam processing Connect, but I don't make any registration yet to external reference points or so. Uh, I don't have time for that. And and there was a, also in a demo data set, a demo area was not this wasn't so possible. And then we have the other uh, complete stream. What you can see, you can do it more or less also in the cloud processing, but uh, I do it on my PC. Now I'm uh, open the data. Uh, I use here PointCap software, PointCap 3D Pro. PointCap, there's also an OEM version. The old name was the GeoSlam Draw. Also, they have some functionality of PointCap is um, uh, also available as a product for the V Orbis now. I don't know if they named them Frau Draw, so I don't can tell you this now. What is the new name? And uh, what I done is uh, this is uh, outside of the office. We capture some points um, in both levels. You can see it here. We have two levels store, and you see it here also from the side. And uh, we don't capture all. We only some areas and what's over the hour area from our office. So, but the interesting one is I done here some um, layout in this office. That's the area where we generate the section, the layout, and I jump now inside of the layout. See it here. I like to show you the results, and I'm super amazed about these results. Look, um, how clean the data set are. You see, no area we have double lines. What is often problem if you're using Slam Scanner? Also for this um, data set, we don't have any double lines. Here we have also below we see the heating system, and here we have the window shades. Here, um, what we also can see, uh, window blades. Uh, what we also can see. Here in the in this data set or here like, like here the window opening here from the window. It's pretty detailed. I I from my point of view I would say or here like looks this is an internal wall like this or this typical office wall where you have it between uh, two working places to absorb the noise. So you can see it really clear. Of course you have some it's not here the best reflection because this is uh, like a like a um, textile surface so it's not a flat surface like a wall. But you see, it's a pretty good data set. I look here. Um, I would say you definitely can work with that. You you see here all the details. Uh, if you want to do a 2D draw of this, I think that should be super possible. And I do also some other sections like the outside. This is the back window in point cap. Of course, we have here some projection. Yeah, but I like only to see you. And on some reason, I don't know, with all this data sending from one area to another one. Um, I was not able to show it this in this software in color, but I have to check this out. But actually, this weekend, so I don't can call some from point capsule today and asked why it's not happening. This is this intensity view, but I would say, and um, this, this are the two static scans. What I as we done some more, but this are these two static scan one we do outside, but we still stay more here in this area. This means we have here a more dense point cloud, and um, and the other one we done from this area here. But um, I can also show you that's the color information what we got. Um, I don't can show you too much because they're my customer inside. Um, but uh, it was not the best day, but I won't check this. You know, we have, uh, it was very uh, snowing a little bit, snow rain. So not the best sunlight condition. So you don't will have the most nicest data, but I won't show you the data. I see there's some snow here and there was some raining. If um, I saw the... The big point cloud, they have a lot of these outlier and, and ghost points because there was like a small rain in, in the air. It was just normally not the best weather where you should scan outside, but this was working. And um, for this, um, I jump uh, in the last one inside. And this is um, uh, the data set exported at E57 in Cloud Compare. Uh, and I think the displaying here in Cloud Compare is pretty good. So uh, this is the intensity picture what we got from the scanner. 
and now we can also switch here and I switch for you and I now put the RGP data inside and this I find really amazing you see uh, if also if you saw before that we not have the best um, weather condition for doing outside scans but that is uh, for me a, a big achievement from how this data set is now looking like as the results from the previous horizon and I would say you definitely can use this for uh, some um, cat drawing or stuff like that. Uh, I will also jump in the other skin. What we done uh, now? I have to move here so for you. So see, it's uh, not fake. One what I doing? It's a real data set. Uh, and then I look outside from here uh, to this office. And now I also display you um, here the color information. And looks here. It's pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent data set. Amazing um, what what you can achieve with the scanner outside this one uh, um, this one data set from, from this but if you look here these how the door is opening the color overlay the color projection and also the cleanness of the data it's not so big in noise I would say the quality of this scan I see some of the outlier points what I uh, mentioned before uh, from these weather condition like also here these water pipe and all these small stuff I said the color overlay looks pretty good to me and also the this the noise of the data is pretty clean yeah it's it's uh, definitely complete another data set as from horizon and you know I do it a while I would say the first uh, terrestrial laser scanner don't have the better results at what we see here and uh, I think uh, for this for my opinion it's the quality of data the quality of the data what we got also the camera and also the slam how this working on this small project was for me okay um, as it was good very good I don't know we have to do other checks how you can work with like a big data set and big housing uh, if you have then more these slam drift issues what basically all slam scanner have and check out how the process is there if how much you can do with static scans processing or you need reference points like you know and with other scanners you need them to achieve higher accuracy you need then some um, reference points what you measure with a total station before we don't do this in the moment um, we was um, uh, checking this for a small area but I think for maybe a small object it is definitely fine and for a few applications to work only with the static and um, these um, uh, with the static scans and um, yeah, and achieve very good results. I think that will definitely change the workflow for some customer that they are maybe can do a couple of jobs now with the SLAM system for AC market or they combine both uh, systems like terrestrial and SLAM scanner. We will see what the future brings us. Uh, that's for me for my weekend. Bye bye, Eric, and I wish you uh, a nice um, uh, starting week for you.